In this tutorial, we're gonna make this 3D love potion bottle icon from a 2D design. Let's see how. This beautiful artwork is our reference. We're going to make this love potion. Actually, this artwork is from Katerina Kirkash. She's a 2D artist from Ukraine and this is her portfolio. Also, I will put the link in the description so you can see her work too. Thank you, Katrina. And let's jump in Blender. So let's start with the glass bottle. Press Shift A to make a UV sphere with 32 segments. Edit mode, polygons, and select these polys. Ctrl plus twice and delete these faces select this edge loop extrude and scale this down again extrude actually we are going to make as close as possible the reference but uh, it's not going to be exactly the reference like the reference but we're going to make it as close as possible so I think here is enough alright let's add another edge loop I put it right here and adjust some of them alright now let's add thickness to this go to modifiers and add a actually let's put this here add a solidify increase it like 0 0.08 actually i'm gonna apply this all right and select these poly loops right click extrude along normals and maybe smaller like this and we don't need these edges all right and let's go down down here select these polys and press x and faces to delete them and select this edge loop extrude to z axis like so press e and escape then s for a scale and again e and press z to go down and you can press f to fill this gap we can do some bubble select these two loops edge loops and press ctrl b to bevel for two segments like this also select this one i'm gonna go more for this part and also for the bottom like this and also we can do insets here one and two also control r and add some edge loops here all right like this and we can uh, move this up go to wireframe press actually we can go here and uh, turn this proportional editing on and press G and Z and scroll your mouse wheel to make it a smaller like this all right then 
also we can do some bubbles here so like this loops and hit ctrl b for bubble all right also we can right click and do shade auto smooth and also we can add subdivision surface modifier for sub level and move this upper right here like this all right and now let's make this uh lead here um let's turn this off go to edit mode and select poly by pressing three and select these edge loops and press shift d escape and p and selection to separate this part from the model press tab to go back to object mode select uh, this part and go to edit mode by pressing tab and select this edge loop press e for extrude and z to go up let's go to x-ray view by pressing this little button here and like so and put this down like here and let's add a edge loop by pressing ctrl r and scale this down actually we can turn off this proportional editing and select this edge loop and press f to fill this cap also here and then press i for inset i'm gonna do this twice so press this one i okay and then select these edge loops up and down and hit ctrl b for bevel like this all right let's turn this off and shade after a smooth and turn this subdivision surface on also let's scale this up you can hold shift to um, make it precise more precisely like this all right let's save our project we can call this um love potion one okay so next we can make this um, rope to do that uh, let's add some curve by pressing shift a go to curves and select circle press g to move it up s for scale and we can go to this object properties go to geometry and increase the depth like this and i think we can go upper like um, 0 0.08 or 0 0.1 maybe okay and i'm gonna rotate this like so and scale it down make a copy by pressing shift d and again rotate like this and adjusting the position uh, i'm gonna make this crossing 
uh, ropes. So let's scale this up. Also this one. So let's go to edit mode by pressing tab and let's make this overlapping. So this one, put it down. Can just select this one and select the handle, press G to move the handle wherever you want. Also, you can make another um, point or vertex by pressing E, which gives you another vertex. Actually, in this case, we don't need this, but if you want to, you can make another vertex to edit just in case we need that right let's make another circle by pressing shift a and circle make this smaller and point one for the depths and let's rotate this like this and rotate all of them to z axis for 45 degrees negative next we are going to make this node here we can copy this by pressing shift d scale it down and rotate 90 degrees and put it right here scale this up as we can see we are doing nothing special just rotating moving rescaling and reaching the right proportion so this um, going to hold our ropes let's make this one you can also copy this by pressing shift d scale it down and pull it here scale it also down press g to move and press tab to go to edit mode and let's edit this little rope which holding our ticket i'm selecting this vertex and pressing g to move the vertex and selecting this handle and pressing G to move the handle like this. Also, I'm gonna move the origin to this vertex. So select this vertex and press Shift S and select cursor to select it and then go to object mode right click and set origin to 3d cursor and then we can rotate from this um, origin point We're going to make these two hanging ropes. So to do that, let's add another curve by pressing Shift A. And this time, let's select the Bezier.
let's add the depth 0.1 oh it's too much let's bring it down and we need to add more vertex so select this one press e to extrude and make another vertex Also, if you want to, you can fill the cap by pressing Fill Cap and it will close your curve. So let's make the tickets. Press Shift A and make a plan. Press R and X and 90 degrees. Scale it down and escape to the Z axis. Go to edit mode, press Ctrl R for edge loops. Let's make it two and S to X axis. Then select this vertex, press E to extrude like this another edge loop here and here all right then select this vertex press ctrl shift b all right before that let's go back to edit mode and press ctrl a and select a scale to reset our scale then go back to edit mode and now press ctrl shift b to make a perfect um, bubble and then um, turn the shape um, like this to make kind of um, circle actually when you uh, apply the subdivision surface modifier it's going to be a perfect circle Next, select this and this vertex, vertices and press Ctrl B, actually Ctrl Shift B to bevel this one. And also we can, we have to turn this back to 0.5. All right. Next, let, let's add another edge loop here and here to protect our edges like this and one here and the last one right here so now we can go to modifiers and add solidify and also the subdivision surface so we have to delete these polys like this all right and then also we can add some edge loops here to curving this ticket Actually, let's, let's um, isolate this by pressing forward slash and select these edges, pressing G to Y axis. Also this one, let's make it longer and this
all right let's go back by pressing slash and position this to the rope And let's rotate this ropes and this tickets a little bit through the left so let's put the cursor to the world origin by pressing shift s and put the cursor to world origin and then select these all the models and these ropes and tickets and put this one to the cursor and press R and Z and rotate this like so so let's create this potion liquid for making that press the bottle go to isolate mode by pressing forward slash go to edit mode and select these polygons and press ctrl plus to increase the polys poly selection right here press shift d escape and p selection to separate this from the model and select the potion and forward slash twice to make it isolated and select this edge loop control f and grid fill now let's make a copy from this liquid here press shift d escape and this is our backup let's call this um backup and this is our guide you can see in a moment let's turn this off and go to our original potion liquid let's add a lattice by pressing shift a and scale it scale it up go to data properties and add some edge loops here all right then go to our liquid and add the lattice select this our lattice and then go to your lattice edit mode then select these vertices and move it down like this and move this up we are going to make this liquid kind of floating potion so we got our form here but we lost our geometry and proportion so now this backup can help us let's turn this on and go to wireframe and try to rescale and get the proportion by selecting these vertices and scale through x axis just remember to check your model from different angle and this side we are going to scale through y axis
so I think it's not bad and we can go back to our bottle and test how it's looking so let's hide the lattice and press forward the slash go to wireframe or go to x-ray view and see how it's looking i think it's okay but i think some normals are flipped to check that actually go to viewport overlay and turn face orientation on so as you can see this one has flip normal so go to edit mode press a and press alt in and then select flip all right and let's select the actually we have to rename this um meshes so this is our potion so let's isolate this and this is entirely flipped normal go to edit mode press a alt in and flip all right let's go back this is our glass these We are a rope. Let's put all this into a collection by pressing M and new collection. I call this rope. And this is our ticket. Or maybe label. And also, this is our lead. All right, let's turn this off face orientation and i think it's okay all right now we can rotate our model to reach this angle to do that select all the model except the potion then hold shift and select the glass and press ctrl p and select object keep transform then press R to rotate the model for 30 minus degree. Also, you can really rotate the liquid, but before that, let's apply the lattice. Also, isolate this and turn on the subdivision surface. But before that, let's add the bubble modifier and turn this down and increase the segments like this. And then turn the subdivision on. And then go back. And as you can see, you can rotate this freely and it's not gonna overlap the bottle. All right, now let's rotate this through Z axis like this. I think this is good enough. And now we can go for the material. Let's add a camera. And press Ctrl, Alt and zero in your numpad and press in let's put it right here and go to view and turn this camera view on so you can freely rotate through your subject and it's going to be your camera angle all right let's go to your camera setting and put this focal length to 100 and also the render engine to cycles and the viewport render sample i'm going to put this on 50 denoise on 50 start from 50 
and turn this the noise off and this on 300 and then go to film transparent and transparent glass all right also i'm gonna turn on this denoising data and for the export properties let's put this on 2k all right let's continue let's add a plane scale this up and press zero to go outside the camera put this down here like so and now we can go to our shading section and let's go to render view and press zero to see from our camera we'll put this down and this is pretty dark because we need to add the lights and hdri in this case i'm using this christmas photo from polyhaven.com i will put the link in the description so let's go to word shift a search for image texture and open the christmas and add this to the color and let's select the plane go to object add a new material put the color on black and roughness to 0.4 all right and also the plan i don't want to be in the camera and for to do that go to object properties under the visibility turn off the camera now select the bottle create new turn the transmission up to one let's make the color to absolute white by increasing the value to one turn the roughness roughness down also let's add some volume press shift a search for volume absorption Add this to volume and put the color to purple put the density to two all right i'm going to add more lights let's turn this panel to 3d viewport and press shift a and add the light area light this up and scale this up and increase the power to 100 we will adjust this if we need to i'm going to add a quick setup lighting setup here
all right i just made some quick and rough lighting to rim lights here and another light to making this reflection and also this one and one in top also for the bottle material i'm going to add a fingerprint roughness map this map is going from polygon.com this is a free roughness map which i will put the link in the description so let's add this by pressing shift a and search for image texture select the map and add this to roughness also put this on non-color non-color and let's select this image texture and press ctrl t and um, for reaching this i i think you need to turn on the um, node wrangler which is into your add-on and put the scale to three also let's add a math and put it on multiply and the value on 0.5 all right next we're going to add material for our potion let's make new material put it on pure white and transmission to one roughness to 0 0.01 right and then add a volume absorption and add this to volume and the color to some reddish and let's increase the density like this all right also we can rotate this um potion using r z and like this all right and now we can go for this ropes create a new material actually like let's join this area add new material go for something reddish and decrease the value to make it darker and we can increase the roughness to 0.6 like this and then you can select the objects which has which have no material and then the last one can be your object with the material and then press ctrl l and link materials also we can go to our modifiers and apply some modifiers for example we can apply this subdivision surface for the bottle and for the potion we can apply the bubble apply the subdivision surface for the lid too and for the ticket also we can apply this all right let's go back to our bottle and change this color to something i don't know actually it depends on you you can go with any color that you want mm, let's go with maybe blue all right now let's go for this lead make new material and let's add one array texture and also add color ramp and add this to the factor and color to base color 
let's see in here all right put the scale on 50 and let's make more contrast and select the color with dark brown and this one also a lighter one and also we can add a bump height and add this to the normal So we can increase the amount. Also, we have another option. You can attach, attach the distance, which gives you this kind of dots. And you can use this too. It depends on you, how you feel good about this and I think I I can make this darker and now let's add this label I made this base color map which I call this heart map I will put the download link in the description you can use this too so to use this we have to go to UV editing and select all the polygons and open this heart map and see how it's working go to shading add new material and let's add this heart and let's see how does it work all right it looks kind of okay Let's go to UV editing, select all and scale down. Let's go to our render. Let's see how does it works. Let's scale this through X axis and I think it's going to work. Scale this up and it's going to work like this. All right, now we can add this bubbles into our potion. All right, to do that, we can use particle system. So select the potion and then go to particle and add one. And let's hide this. All right as you can see it added some particles to our potion so select the potion and put the start and the end frame to one lifetime to 250 and then actually let's go down source into our volume use modifier stack and then go down under the render actually we can use our model let's add a uv sphere scale it down put it right here and then go back to our particle system under the render Render as object, which are um, I'm using this object. Let's call this bubble. All right, let's select that. And as you can see, we have our bubbles here. but this is too much 
let's go up and turn down the number to 100 or maybe 50 let's go with 75 maybe this one all right we can go for this object make material for that we can go for transmission and let's see we can put this on pure white and roughness down we can put the rr to 1.3 so we can add emission to this i go with 0.01 and we can also put the color to red maybe we can decrease the alpha if you want all right and let's change the seed to see different variation and sometimes it's gonna overlapping your potion just try different seed to see how random randomly it's gonna distribute to your potion so this is i think this is good let's put this on 50 and also we can increase the size of this so let's bring back our bottle glass i think that's pretty much it so let's render this out to see how it's gonna work and this is the final render i also made another version too which is this one same thing same way but different color different lighting and different sizes and with some editing in photoshop i made this version i hope you make your version too and i hope you learn something Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.